down at Boeing Plaza tonight, there is a very rare and significant aircraft. It is the Lockheed VC-121A Constellation, serial number 48613, known as Batan. In 1948, the U.S. Air Force ordered 10 Lockheed Model L749 aircraft, the Graceful Constellation Airliner. They were delivered in 1948 and 1949 to Westover Air Force Base and the Atlantic Division of the Military Air Transport Command, MATS for short. Their Air Force designation was C-121A. One of the first major international crises of the Cold War began on June 24, 1948, when the Soviets closed all road, rail, and canal access to the parts of Berlin, Germany that were controlled by the Western Allies. The Berlin blockade left the people of West Berlin without their normal supplies of food, fuel, medicines, and other necessities. In response, the Western Allies organized the Berlin Airlift. Round-the-clock flights from England and the United States brought essential supplies to the people of West Berlin. The Lockheed Constellations, with their speed and long range, were ideal for moving supplies from the U.S. to Britain and to Germany during the Berlin Airlift. The Air Force's eight C-121As, also known as Connies, made continuous crossings of the Atlantic Ocean, flying over five million miles to help deliver relief to West Berlin. When the airlift ended, the Connies were converted from cargo planes to high-speed VIP transports for the U.S. Air Force. In 1950, during the Korean War, Connie No. 613 became the flying command post of General Douglas MacArthur, who was at the time Supreme Commander of Allied Powers in Korea. MacArthur named his constellation Bataan, after the Philippine Peninsula, known for the infamous Bataan Death March of 1942, when 75,000 American and Filipino prisoners of war were brutally forced marched more than 60 miles to captivity in POW camps. Subjected by Imperial Japanese troops to hunger, thirst, beatings, torture, and wanton killing, more than 5,000 Filipinos and 500 Americans died or were killed during the eight days of the march. Many more would die in the POW camps of torture, starvation, or disease. In Korea, General MacArthur made 17 flights over the battlefields in his county, and she carried him to Wake Island for a meeting with U.S. President Harry Truman. On April 16, 1951, a fateful day for MacArthur, the Connie Batan carried the general from Korea to Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland, where President Truman relieved him of his command. MacArthur then flew home to San Francisco his last flight in the Connie. C-121A Batan was assigned to the Pacific Air Command based in Hawaii. Her passengers included Generals Matthew Ridgway, Mark Clark, and Curtis LeMay, and South Korean President Syngman Rhee. In 1953, Batan carried newly elected U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower and Vice President Richard Nixon on an inspection tour of Korea. All C-121s, including Bataan, were removed from Air Force rolls in 1966 and sent to the Boneyard at davis monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. Several were stripped of military gear and sold to civilian operators in Canada for use as fire bombers and bug sprayers. Three Connies, including number 613, Batan, were assigned to NASA for use during the Apollo Space Program. When the Apollo Space Program ended, NASA 422 was acquired by the Army Aviation Museum at Fort Rucker in Alabama and put on display out in the open, and there she sat for 20 years. 
officials at Fort Rucker considered scrapping Bataan in 1993 until Ed Maloney, founder of the Plains of Fame Museum in Chino, California, offered to take possession of her. That's a historic airplane, he told skeptical Steve Hinton, president of Plains of Fame. We've got to find a way to do it. Plains of Fame traded a helicopter for the Connie, made her airworthy with help from Lockheed, repainted her in General MacArthur's colors, and took her on the airshow circuit. But flying her was costly, and after one year on the circuit, Bataan was grounded once again, perhaps permanently. Enter Rod Lewis, well-known aircraft collector and owner of Lewis Air Legends and the Air Legends Foundation. Lewis purchased Bataan in 2015 and hired Steve Hinton's Fighter Rebuilders Company to undertake Bataan's complete restoration. Finding parts wasn't easy and few people knew anything about the 1950s era airliner. Making Bataan flyable again was, said Hinton, like restoring 10 or 15 Mustangs. But despite the difficulties, Bataan once again took to the air on June 20th of this year, just in time for the trip to Oshkosh. She proudly wears the colors of General MacArthur's transport and will soon be given an all-new, historically correct interior. Lewis plans to fly Bataan to events around the U.S. and maybe Europe and beyond, so Bataan will be seen and appreciated by thousands thanks to Ed Maloney's vision to save her from scrappers and Rod Lewis's dream to bring this beautiful and historic airplane back to life.